Hello. Hi, Miss Anderson. My name is Roshana. I'm the nurse that spoke with you earlier today. I'm here to do a home safety check for Brittany now that she's going to be staying with you. Oh, great. Thank you for coming. I think we should start by doing a quick walk through the house. I will make some notes here that I can give you at the end. Oh, that just sounds great. I noticed that you have a scooter and an electric wheelchair here. These both can pose a safety concern for you and Brittany. It would be a good idea for you to keep the key for the wheelchair out of Brittany's reach. And as for the scooter, it would be best to keep it in the garage and not allow Brittany to use it in the house. Oh, Brittany, get down from that scooter in my electric wheelchair. That's not a toy. Okay, thanks, Roshana. That sounds like a good idea. My son will have to come over and move the scooter um, into the garage later today. Well, I'm sure he wouldn't mind helping with that. Oh, what a cute dog. Has he ever been around Brittany before? be wise to be around when Brittany and Rufus are together, just to make sure they get along okay. Oh, I see over here that you have the fireplace going. Oh, yes, I always have my fireplace going. Um, I'm just always so cold. Well, it would be a good idea for you to buy a protective screen to put in front of the fireplace. This will help prevent Brittany from getting too close to the fire. Okay, I think I can do that. Oh, you have a beautiful living room. Speaking of burns, I've noticed you have some candles over on the table. Um, that would be something that I would definitely move out of reach of Brittany, maybe on top of the fireplace. Oh, Rashawn, that's a great idea. Can you move those for me while I go get my cigarette? Sure, no problem. How long have you smoked? Oh, it just seems like forever. I don't know what I would do without my cigarettes. Well, now that Brittany is living here, it might be a good time to consider quitting or smoking away from Brittany. Oh, Roshana, I don't, I don't think I can do that. That is just one of the few pleasures that I have left in life. Along with my daily glass of wine, I have a cigarette and a glass of wine every day at 4 o'clock. That's my own happy hour. I definitely understand how you feel, but secondhand smoke can cause harm to Brittany. Would you consider only smoking when Brittany is not in the home? Well, I guess so. I mean, I might consider it. Um, I don't know how you guys expect me to change my life. I am 78 years old and I'm doing a favor for my son for, by caring for Brittany. I understand what you're saying. I know these changes might take some adjustment, um, but it's what's best for Brittany. Is that your medication bottle on the table? Oh, yes, those over there near my cigarettes. Yes, those are my school softeners. Um, I take them for the problem. I think the doctor, I said I, I said I was having trouble pooping, so I think the doctor called it consternation or something like that. Oh, you mean constipation. Oh, yes, that's it. Those dual softeners work wonders. I have at least, at least two BMs a day. Well, it would be a good idea for you to keep those dual softeners away from Brittany's reach. They can harm, cause major harm to Brittany if she gets a hold of them. Well, why don't we go ahead and move into the kitchen? Okay, I'll follow you in there. Do you have safety locks on these kitchen cupboards? Um, no. Do I need them? Yeah, that would be a good idea. That way they'll protect Brittany from getting into anything that she shouldn't. Um, it would also be important for you to keep your knives out of Brittany's reach. Maybe your son could install the safety locks next time he comes over. Oh, jeez. Are those expensive? Does Medicare cover them? No, unfortunately, Medicare does not cover them, but they're not very expensive. You can pick a pack of them for less than $10 at any of the local stores. Oh, oh okay. I, I guess I can do that. Oh, I noticed the oven door is open. Oh, damn. I forgot I was cooking a turkey. Oh, Brittany, get away from that hot oven. 
Well, it's gonna, it's going to off, take an awfully long time with the oven door open. You are going to need to be a little more aware of these things now that Brittany is living here. But I did notice that you have a first aid kit on the wall. That is excellent. Oh, I always say you never can be too careful with little ones around. At least I'm doing something right. Of course you are. I notice you've also been cleaning. Oh, yes, over there. Um, I was just mopping the floor before you got here today. Well, this bucket of water and the mop can be a trip hazard for you and a drowning hazard for Brittany. Um, it would be important to dump the water right after you're done using the mop and store the bucket upside down. Oh, okay. Well, I was just about to empty it. Well, okay. I think that's it in here. Okay, I'll follow you back out to the living room. I did notice the stairs on our way into the kitchen. Oh, yes. I don't actually go upstairs anymore. It's just too hard on my knees and hips. Um, I have osteoarthritis. Well, it would be important for you to have your son come over and install a second railing and then install a baby gate to keep Brittany from going up there. Oh, jeez. Well, my son is going to be really busy with all these things that we need to change. Yes, but it's a one-time fix and a one-time expense that will make your home safe for your granddaughter, Brittany. Here is a list of all the things we talked about today. Do you mind if I stop over in a month or so to see all the new changes? Oh, sure. That would be great. Thank you for all your suggestions, Roshana. Hopefully, Brittany will be safer in my home. It's good to see my tax dollars at work. I'll see you in a month. I'll walk you outside here. Excuse me, Brittany. Thanks, Roshana. It was very nice day. to meet you. Thank you for letting me come in your home. Nice to meet you, too.